Hello and welcome to another one. I'm, uh, well, behind me is Penny Owen, so you know where I am. I'm back at Clean Edward, uh, at the Clangollan. No, not, I'm not at Clangollan at all. I'm in Clean Ogwin, um, down up in the valley. And I've come up to this lovely little place. I always bring my workshop clients and stuff because you've got the nice Devil's Kitchen Hills behind you and Glitterfar and you've got this lovely stream that runs through with these little cascades and things. Now, I'm taking another picture. We've got a bit of a blue sky. Um, I'm using a brand new filter system, as you can see on the front. This is the Maven system. Um, and it's a system that has color coded filters, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm highly pushing this company at the moment because I think they're fantastic and brilliant design because I can pick my camera up and Steve's been saying, oh, what, what, what filter have I got on the front? And he's looking, having to look what it is. I know on the front of here, just by glancing over the top, I've, I've got a CPL, which is blue, and I've got a six stop, which is pink. And I know that without even looking at them. So I think this system is absolutely fantastic. I've got an F11 shot set up at the moment, with this beautiful cascade running through, and we're in the shadows, but the hills are all lit up by the morning light. So it's making a really, really nice shot. And the long exposure, I'm smoothing out all the water, making that really, really surreal, nice long exposure and smoothing out all that water, just because that's what I want to do today. So, I'm actually here really, I want to talk about this tripod that I'm using. As you probably noticed, the ball head is different to my usual ball heads, and I've been doing a couple of reviews for a different company of tripods the last couple of videos I've had, and this one is another Leo Photo tripod. And when this exposure is finished, I'm going to show you a little bit about it and tell you about it as well. And, and that's really all this video is about. Um, I'm not going to be doing a lot of photography because I'm with a workshop client, and while he's just taking a couple of photographs that we've just talked about, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown and have a couple of moments to myself. So this, like I said, is a Leo Photo. This is the Leo Photo Rapid Ranger, and it's an LSR 324 or 324C for carbon fiber. This is a carbon fiber tripod. It's extremely lightweight. It feels very lightweight for its, for its size and for its model. And I haven't brought any information for this tripod with me whatsoever. So I'm gonna tell you what I've got here in my hand, and then I'll add a little bit of a clip on the side of the video on the end of this with some information I've got on a piece of paper back in the van. Now, one thing you notice different with this is this has got clips on the side. These are a clip version tripod. Now, you know that I like my threaded ones that you twist on, the twist grips. I'm a big, big, big lover of twist grip. Now, I have got to say, and I'm gonna be very, very honest with you guys, these are amazing, all right? I've used lots of different tripods like this, and I've really not got on with them, and I really don't like them. This is seriously one grip action. There's only three, because it's a four section tripod, but these are so easy, you can just flip them out. They, know, they don't clip and lock in, you can just flip them out, and the, the smoothness is spot on, and they go back in so, so easy. Now they come with their own little key, which is clipped on here, you can pull this off, like that and it comes with a key, it's got an Allen key on the end so you can do the tops of your tripod up and it's also got a little hex screw which is like a, about a six mil maybe which does up the little hex screws in the back if these get a bit looser but I'm not kidding you, these are the best clips I've ever used and I'm, I will honestly stand by that, I think they're fantastic. I've taken the feet off, the little rubber feet, I've taken them off and they come with these little baby spikes, which I'm a lover of the bigger spike. I wish tripod companies would give you a big spike because you want at least two inches and you can push them into the ground. These little tall, tiny silver nipple type things really are a little bit too small, but I prefer them than the rubber feet. I just do because when my tripod goes down, I can feel it's solid and it's not moving and it's not sliding around on the rocks. So yeah, I'm really, really a big lover of it. Also, you've got this beautiful solid rubber grip so come winter time when this tripod's really, really cold, getting hold of this rubber grip, you've got something to grip hold of, and it keeps your hand a bit warm by having this rubber grip on it. Of course, as standard to all tripods, you've got different clicks that click down into place as and when. And again, it's one of those systems where you pull it out, you go to where you want it to go up, and it locks in place, and it locks into place in each position. So I haven't got to worry about it going back in and forgetting to push the button back in. So again, really, really good. 
It comes with a uh, carabiner and a screw that you can put in the bottom so you can click your tripod, uh, your little filters and things on. There's a thread somewhere around here on the side, a uh, quarter inch thread, um, so you can attach a little loop on the side of that. Um, so yeah, in all in all, it's very much standard to a lot of tripods these days and very, very simple and easy to use. Um, tripods now are so fantastically well made. On this one, it comes with this head. It comes with the Leofoto LH40. It's a double notched head, which means basically that you can notch it, drop it down one position and you can drop it down in a second position. So that may be very handy for certain people depending on what they're doing. It's also a tensioner head. So I've got the tension set up. I've undone my screw on the side and I can now move my tripod into position without actually holding on to it and it falling around. It's got that nice tension to it and then I can lock it off tight and it's nice and solid once it's in place. But I can loosen this off all the way and it is still only going to move it in that slight amount. So for me that's a really good ball head and it works very very well. And you've also got the panel on the side, you can click that and you can spin the tripod round on the panel and again the further you open it the looser it becomes and spins easily. So again it's well designed, well made and really thought out for a ball head. So again quite recommend that. Um, it comes with a standard Arca Swiss top plate and it gives you a really big plate as well if you need one. Most of the people these days have an L bracket on their camera so again you don't really need the Arca Swiss plate but it's good to attach other things to. So all in all it's a very very nice tripod and I am going to put my name to it because at the moment I think there's a lot of features on this that work well because this is beautiful it's a, such a nice action it really does make it quick simple and easy to use um, but it's not going to convert me i do like my twist grips and the reason i like my twist grips is when you shrink this down into place and you put it together when i want to put it in my bag i've got this great big clump of section to be pushed into my bag whereas if i didn't have all of these on the side then you just got the twist grips it slides into the pocket a lot easier and that's purely because my bag's only got a very small pocket um, so I can, can't afford to have it any bigger and bulkier. So I'm going to stop the video here, take a couple more pictures, and when I get back to my van I'm going to show you the extension that comes in the bag, because you've got a small extension that comes with it, and the other little features, the fittings that come with this tripod. So yeah, all in all, quite a nice little bit of kit. So I'm back in the van, I just wanted to show you this. Um, just cut from the video a moment just to give you a bit of a insight. I've got a little bit of paper here with some information on it. This is the bag that this uh, nice little tripod comes in, uh, the Ranger. And it's got a nice blue zip on it, very easy to find with some big ring pills if you're into that sort of thing. So you can get the bag open very, very easily and a long camera strap that's attached to the back. Uh, so inside this you also get, uh, like I said, you get the extension which is tucked away inside here. You get this little extension, uh, which is about, oh, I don't know, 12 inches long. I suppose it's 12 inches. Um, drops down to six, about 150 mil-ish, 180 mil. Um, so yeah, it drops down to a smaller size. And this is designed really to be attached to the top. So you take your ball head off, you attach this to the top and then put that on top, your ball head on the top. So it gives you that extra reach if you want to get that bit of extra height. Um, this would also act quite well as a little vlogging stick as well, um, which is quite, could be quite handy. Um, but yeah, it, it's a little attachment that comes with it and sits in the tripod rather than having it sticking out the bottom. And the reason is being is this tripod will go all the way down to the floor flat and uh, you can get your camera within inches off the ground. Uh, it does actually probably say on this bit of paper how low it will go, um, but the writing is so small, I can't read it. Interestingly, you also get this little pouch with it. This little pouch I've discovered on the other photo, the other Leo photo tripod that I had a look at, uh, which was the blue titanium one. If you haven't seen that, please do have a look at that. I'll put a link up for you. But I thought this little pouch that comes with all the little gizmos in it would be a good little waterproof pouch to put your phone in. You can actually slot your phone in this, zip it up and hang it um, on your belt, your waist, your tri wherever you want. But, uh, it's a good little way of um, carrying your phone if you're going out in the water. So in this pouch, you get instructions and a um a warranty card and stuff like that i'm just going to pull it all out for a moment you get three tripods <laughs> no you don't you get three allen keys in fact three allen keys um these are designed for the two allen keys to go in either side which is really nice you get a pair and you also get a tiny allen key which i'm not entirely sure 
what it's for. Um, there's bound to be an Allen key on here somewhere. I think it's probably, it takes these little tiny knurly knocks out the bottom of your uh, Arca Swiss compatible plate. Um, that's what it's for, I think. Uh, these also fit the legs. So if you want to do these sections up or strip it down and take it apart uh, for cleaning, that's what they're for. But you also get this little carabiner clip. It's this little carabiner clip there. Uh, this can be clipped onto your camera bag, onto your accessory pouch or whatever it is you use. And again, it's got a small Allen key attached to that for going in there. And you've also got uh, Allen keys built on the side two slightly different sizes i think there is there um, and these are going to be used for doing up your tripod if you need to it's a very very handy little thing to have comes on a loop there's also a flat plate which is great for doing up your uh, screw on the bottom of your tripod so you can do it up with that uh, it's like a flat blade screwdriver and if you're really really interested there's also a little bit of metal in there which can be used for a bottle opener for popping the old bottles open if you're a wine or a beer drinker it also comes, like I said, with a carabiner. You get a small carabiner on a clip and it's got like a little O-ring and a quarter inch thread, which can either be threaded in the side, on the side of the tripod, which is what I do. I like a little ring on the side so I can clip my filters on when I'm carrying the tripod around and my filters attached. Or you can clip it in the bottom and it goes into the bottom and you can have them hanging in on the bottom if you want to hang a camera strap or tie it down with a lanyard or something like that. Uh, but I really can't put anything else up because even on my little bit of paper, I don't have a lot apart from what I've already told you. So, thank you for watching this, and uh, back over to the video. I've got, I've got one inch now, my heel's actually <laughs> off the edge. <laughs> He's telling me off, he said, watch your footing, watch your footing. I'm used to this, I'm, I'm, I've, got an inch of, I've got an inch of rock here. Um, yeah, I've, I'm still in the same location, or we're still in the same location. He's been filling his boots full of images. He's got a nice lot of images of the water and the cascades and that. Um, but when I was sort of talking about an image and he moved around the tripod, I noticed on the back of his camera um, that he's got these nice leading lines. And I hadn't actually bothered looking at these before in the past. So I've got this image set up and I wanted to show you this. Um, I've got some cracks in the rock that's leading me sort of across from the bottom right hand corner and taking me in. I'm in a vertical orientation, so I'm obviously looking up, up the river. And then I've got the snaky bit of a water coming in. I've got some light now hitting these rocks. And then I've got the, you know, the main uh, glitter var in the background. Um, I've got on the front of the camera, as it's blue, I've got my CPL, and I've also got pink on the front with the six notches on the side, that means I've got a six stop on there. Totally smoothing the water out. Not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm doing it anyway. And he's doing a really weird thing. He's doing this over there. Is he trying to pretend he knows what he's doing with his fingers, framing the picture? It does actually work, actually. It's quite a good way um, if you haven't got a phone. So I'm just going to check those, make sure I've not smoothed it out too much. Yeah, it's completely fluffed out and it's like milk, but that's what I'm going for today. That's my, that's my choice of uh, my choice of image. I'm just going to take another one a bit, a little bit quicker because the sun's come out and giving us a bit of light on the rocks. Um, but yeah, all in all, not a bad little image and one I know I can come back to and bring people to because it's got all the elements in it. It's got the water, the trees, the hills, the mountains, the sky, and even rocks and lines. Cracking little shot. Another image set up, we've come up the side of the river a bit more, a little bit of an area where I haven't actually been up to really, and this is a really nice little shot. Um, I said there's two compositions here, we've got a wide angle and we've also got one that's a little bit further back, so I'm probably at around 28 mil at the moment, uh, full frame equivalent. And this reminds me of the um, fairy pools in the Isle of Skye. So we've got glitter bar in the background, we've got uh, this section of water that's sort of like a flat cascade. Um, yeah, it just makes a nice shot. I think all the elements are in this shot to make it interesting. The sky's not great, but I don't think we need the sky. I've come down really low and cut the sky out, so we don't really need that bit of sky in there. But yeah, no, I think this is a really nice little simple shot, and it does remind me very much of the Isle of Skye and the fairy pools. Um, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put the wide-angle lens, and I'm going to move across these few rocks down here uh, without falling and get a bit closer and try and concentrate on the cascade and make the cascade even bigger and then the mountains in the background look smaller and less, less sort of more insignificant and the waterfall just become even more part of the image um, and just try it out see if there's a difference and what I do is I put the two images up this one and the one closer up let me know in the comments which one you prefer the, the close up one with the wide angle or the one further back
Yeah. Not bad, actually. Not bad, actually. Not bad. So, uh, you've probably seen a little bit of B-roll. I got Steve to hold me camera as I crawled out on these rocks just to make sure that I can... I, I took one step at a time just to go <laughs> easy with it. The first one's a little bit iffy, um, but before you put the pressure on it, try and make sure you've got a good grip. Um, it's a really nice, quite a nice shot from up front, um, but I don't know whether I prefer the one from further back. What did you prefer? Did you prefer the close one or the one distance? Um, and I've also took a vertical one. I put it up on the side of the screen here as well. The vertical's quite nice. Now, my tripod was extended fully out on the front leg and it was about three foot in the water so that's a really deep little plunge pool just there but it really gives you a nice line going up so i think that one worked quite nicely as well so i think i think possibly i'm going to end the video here uh, because i've talked about the tripod i've mentioned those lovely little maven filters as well and i um but yeah i think i'm going to end it here keep it keep it as short as i can short and sweet and uh, yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe good old penny owen behind me there looking really good um and yeah don't forget that thumbs up drop me a comment let me know what you think if you want to come out on a workshop if you want to come out even if it's just me showing you locations this is the best way of doing it just give us a shout on my website full from pd photography um.co.uk there's a link on there for there's pages on there you can send me emails and uh, we can talk about what you want what you want to get what you want to achieve whether you just want to just join me for a day out or even a morning or sunrise or sunset blah 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 blah, blah. you know what to do ask and we'll sort it out see you soon ciao for now bye bye